Hello everyone, this is Zane Game Arts, we do the little boxing to break down the demo. This is Dust, the Elysian Tale for the Nintendo Switch, but this is a limit run physical copy, so getting a copy will not be the easiest. As well, there were no updates available since the making of this video, so it's very nice to know that we have the most completest up-to-date version of the car game on cartridge. Now, I originally played the Dust game back on PlayStation 3 when it was a PlayStation Plus subscription bonus as a free download game. I never completed it due to the fact I normally do not complete my complete downloaded only games. So I was more than eager to play this game when I finally got my first Nintendo Switch and to play my first Nintendo Switch game that I ever got, which was the Dust game. So coming into it, I have very fond memories of what little I did play back on the PlayStation 3, and coming back to it, the game is still a well-made and wonderful indie game for its time. Now, the game has a strong influence of furries. I know a lot of people, and it has lately become a stigma for a lot of people. I do not know why, but I particularly don't mind furries. When I was growing up, this was just cartoons, so I don't know why I understand why people don't like them. And for the most part, I think it's cute, so I'm more than eager to have it. But Dust is like a typical side-scrolling action game. It's not really like a Metrovania, but it does have a little bit more exploration here and there. But the most game is more focused on a run, start left, run right, and so forth, and just the story-driven kind of game. Now the game is a bit of a more of a hack and slash where you just mash the attack button, you can do normal combos here and there. Now your partner character, Fidget, will cast spells here and there that you can command. You can unlock more spells as you progress through the story, as well as you unlock more abilities for dust later on in the game, like to be able to slide and do other techniques and maneuvers. Now the game does have its main focus is of uh, the dust storm or the the whirlwind blade. How do you want to look at the ability? Uh, I, I I it just it's a very powerful move and do not be hesitant to use it almost all the time. The main one you want to use the most is the one you can jump and do it, where it just constantly hits enemies. Now Fidget can use her ability to amplify the effect and do a higher ch chain hit combo, which will give you you bonus experience. I highly recommend you do not hesitate to use Fidget and this ability as it's going to be a main focus in the game. And even the game even acknowledges this and talks about that a little bit in the game. The game does break the fourth wall quite constantly in the game, which I find quite charming. And the main character throughout the game is going to be your little pet friend or little partner, Fidget. She's an adorable character, I really love her, and she's the main focus I constantly come back to play this game for her. And for, all, for the longest time, I've always compared her the best uh, wife or waifu or interesting interest character for Dexter for Jack and Dexter. That's just my personal opinion on that. But the game has many kind of other stuff in there as well. You can unlock more uh, alf not outfits, but like get more equipment, like a, a weapon upgrades, as well as experience to level up the character, get better armor, get special rings that will allow you to find items, as well as uh, f get more gold to drop. It's got your typical RPG kind of element there. Now the game isn't very long, as well as that there's not much variety in terms of the game. But what is here, it may be a plain Jane, but it's a well done plain Jane. With great voice acting, great animation, the, the, the interactions with the characters is very well done. The voice acting is pretty darn good as well. The gameplay is fast, fluid, and very smooth, and very rewarding. As well as you have many hidden paths and areas that you can come back and explore when you unlock more abilities to keep exploring. The game is a very well made game, and it should be not be an indie game to be forgotten. It's really sad for me to see it on a limit run physical copy only, as I feel that this game definitely needed a wider audience to get a chance to get a copy, as it's a very well made game, and I'm really happy to have it on my shelf. Now, this was my first Nintendo Switch game to cover on my channel, and I hope I did it right and well. If there's any other more information you want to know about from the Nintendo Switch versions of games, please let me know in the comments below, as I do not know the Switch fully. I just got it, I got a, quite a few games for it, I hope to cover more games in the future for it. So, like always, I will try to leave links down in the description if you're Instacopy. Thank you all for watching, hit that like, subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me, and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye-bye! Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all of my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging me sword, getting me in trouble, 